What's happening everybody? My name is Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. It is time for another episode of Anime Mondays where I let you know what I've been watching anime wise for the week and let you know what I think of the show. It's going to be a long one this week. I watched a whole bunch of shows. Not necessarily a lot of episodes of each of them, but with the fall season starting, some of them I choose to keep up with weekly, and it's just a lot to process right now as I'm sneaking glances over at my list of things to talk about. Okay, so you remember how I said I may or may not pick up another show from the fall 2014 season? Well, I did. And it is a show that maybe two people will like besides me. It is called Bonjour Kouiaji Patisserie. It's not patissiere. It's the accent's not there. Patisserie. This is an ONA OVA. You can watch it on Crunchyroll. I'm not quite sure when it airs. I know it started on October 10th, but I know for a fact Crunchyroll did not get it then because otherwise I would have watched it and I would have watched two episodes instead of just episode one. If you are looking for a true reverse harem, this is your show. Unfortunately, it's only five and a half minutes long, which begs the question, why are my favorite shows this season under six minutes an episode? Really can't... Uh, I know I have a short attention span, but it's not that short. Bonjour! Is, I, feel, I feel like I'm inside Beauty and the Beast every time I say it like that, so... Bonjour! 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 And then you start into the song, the bell song. Okay, you're watching an anime channel, probably you don't like Disney as much as I do. It's a show about a girl who goes to, I guess, a culinary school, but you only learn how to bake things or make sweets. And it's straight up reverse harem. Actually, the main character is a cute design, and I guess it's based off of a video game, which means it may or may not suck. But the first episode was cute, and the girl pretty much has the personality of plastic. But her friends are funny. The reverse harem guy character designs are not ones that I'm thrilled with. So I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm so in love with Wonk Wonk Wonk. Why didn't you pick him? Because I don't really care for any of them. But I love reverse harems, so I'm so excited to find this. It is not a spinoff of my beloved Yumeiro Petissier. It's something brand new. It goes for like 20 plus episodes. So I don't, I don't know how long this is going to air, but... It's really cute, and it's got bitchy people in it, and mean guys, and mean girls, and it's basically just like boarding school with cupcakes. And if you put together a cupcake in a reverse harem, clearly, best anime ever. So bonjour, episode one, I like it. Can't wait for episode two. I hope it comes out, like, quickly, because... Um, it's only six minutes and you know if you don't feed a fat girl her cupcake quickly it's a hot ass mess. Next up on my list of anime I watched this week I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters episodes 145 through 150. We are into box set season four for those of you playing the home game and so we finished that weird Merrick arc last time and now we're going into something about dragons. It's okay, I guess. It's not my favorite out of all the Yu-Gi-Oh that I've watched. The Dark Magician Girl comes to life, so that was cool. Pegasus is back. This is why. Okay, so Pegasus is back. And Kaiba is in the duel with him, but it's not really Pegasus. It's some other dude who can turn himself into Pegasus. Mai comes back, but it's not really Mai. It's somebody else who turns herself into Mai. And I don't like that shit. You don't fucking mess with my Valentine, okay? She's my fave. I don't like this Yu-Gi-Oh! season as much as I like the previous ones. Maybe after season three it jumped the shark a little. I don't know. I never watched this when I was a kid, so this is all brand new to me. And I'm watching the English dub, which is pretty bad, but I like it because it's funny. So, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. I had to clean the shit out of my house last night, so put that on in the background and it made a lovely background noise so always good for that. Your Lie in April episode 2. I am continuing to like this show. I like the lead girl more and more, the blonde one, the one who plays the violin. 
So she's entered in this concours, which is like a, a contest for people who play instruments in Japan, I guess. It's not a showcase, it's a contest because they're graded. And already the production value is starting to drop a little bit. There were so many like still frames and pan frames and like fade, like where the camera pulls back and you don't see anybody's faces. Like it's supposed to look like chibi, I guess, but it just looks bad. When it comes to the main characters, they still look great, especially the blind girl when she was playing her violin and they all had to play the same piece and she decided to play it with a completely different tempo, completely different everything. I couldn't even recognize it. And everybody loved her, but she doesn't play to win the awards. She just plays to move people, which gotta admit, she's pretty badass for being, what, 13, 14 years old? I still like your lion, April. And the dude with the glasses is now completely in love with her and she just likes the other guy. It's really cute. I like this show. Your Lion April's a good pick for the fall season. I am really excited to tell you this next part about the anime that I watched this week. This next segment is to tell you that I finished a channel. God, it was the bane of my fucking existence. Oh, Jesus. I bit the bullet and I finished the last three episodes. I do have two good things to say about A Channel though. Number one is that there is a brand new insert song in every episode which has some kind of cute little moe montage to go with it. If that's your thing, hey, there's 12 new songs for you and I did like the little songs. Those were probably the best part of the episodes. The second thing is episode 10 hit a bunch of really obscure anime references. At least I think they were, or they were trying to happen. They didn't quite make it all the way there, but I caught them and that was the funniest episode. Toru got a cat and run, rune, run. Decided to name the cat Carbonation and it was just funny. It was the one Moe thing I enjoy. So maybe if you put Moe girls with cats, that's how to make me like it. Cause otherwise, oh, I'm not feeling these slice of life Moe shows. But I finished it, I watched episodes 10 through 12, and I rated it 2 out of 10 on my anime list, which when I looked at the words to look up and see what I actually had rated it, it was horrible. And it really was horrible. It took me from July, the beginning of July, till it's now the middle of October to finish this show, and most of the time was spent having disc number 2 in my possession and not watching it, because I just couldn't bring myself to bore myself to death. But if you like Moe, this will probably be your thing. If you like school slice of life shows that don't go anywhere, yeah, you'd probably like this show. As for myself, I really hated it. So goodbye, A Channel. I never have to watch you ever again, and you will never appear on another episode of Anime Mondays. Yay! Hanasakuru Sishonen. I watched episode 20. I've never talked about this on my YouTube channel before, but I watched episodes 1 through 19 in like a day. <laughs> I'm not joking, and then I don't know what happened, I guess I just decided I needed a break, and it's been months and I haven't watched it, and I really was feeling the void after Pet Girl of Sakura so, and I really wanted to watch another Reverse Harem while I was waiting for another episode of Akatsuki no Yona to come out. I turned back to an old favorite, Hana Sakura. This anime is a little bit of Reverse Harem and a lot of it of political drama. It is about a girl and her dad is really rich and he devises a marriage game for her and what happens is he's gonna pick out three guys and she has to find out who they are and then pick from the three which one she would really like to marry. Kind of like an arranged marriage thing but he's really rich so I'll buy it. There are actually four dudes who end up falling in love with her. There is Li Lang who is like her best friend from childhood and now he's pretty much like her bodyguard. There's Ruma T who is a prince, and I like him the best. I hope she picks him. He's my fave. There's Carl, who is her dad's family's enemy. I don't know. There's really bad blood between the two families, but Carl falls in love with her anyway. And then there's the other guy, Muf Mustafa. I call him Mufasa, because he's supposed to remind her of like her little leopard cub, and that reminds me of the Lion King, and he's just weird. He makes girls fall in love with him and then just dates 30 of them at a time and then they try to kill themselves or kill other girls he's dated. He's weird. It's funny. 
but he's fucking weird. Starts off reverse harem and it, then it slowly morphs into this political drama. There's lots of guns and lots of things about taking over people's kingdoms. And it's a really interesting show. The production value is not all that great for something that's supposed to have a lot of drama and intrigue and action in it, but I still like it. In, <laughs> in episode 20, we're pretty much dead in the middle of the show. It's 39 episodes. The dad comes home and talks to each of the guys who are all in love with the main girl, who of course, whose name I can't remember, but they're all in love with her and he just wanted to make sure that all their intentions were true. If these are the three guys that he picked for the marriage game, he never says it, but his daughter really thinks it's those three. And I agree, except I would probably swap out Mufasa with Li Lang because Li Lang is the shit, even though she clearly belongs with Ruma to you, but whatever. In this episode, there is some weirdo plot twist involving Carl. Clearly, you probably have not seen it because I haven't mentioned it before if you're following along with what I'm watching. I don't want to wreck it for anybody, but it fucking came out of nowhere and I was just like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, I don't understand, I, I just, I don't understand. But I was just like, okay, okay, Carl, <laughs> if this is how you're going to play it, this is how you're going to play it. I thought I would watch a lot more of this than I did, but then Crunchyroll and my internet decided to die. So I only watched the one episode. I really want to see what happens. I really want to finish it because... Now that I'm watching Bonjour, I'm going to say that every time I mention it, I really want a good reverse harem and I actually just wrote a list of my top seven reverse harems and is Hanasakuru on it? Well, maybe in a couple of weeks you'll find out. Akatsuki no Yona, episode two. Uh, I still love this show, although now I'm on the fence over whether or not it really is going to be a reverse harem or not. It's a lot more action-y than I thought it would be, which is not a bad thing. I really like it. And then if you watch the first episode, big plot twist, then her little dark haired protector dude starts fighting for her against the blonde haired dude. It's a lot of action. The dark haired dude has some kind of power, like some kind of guardian power. It really makes me think of Fushigi Yugi now. So it might still be reverse harem. After the main girl and the dark haired dude run away, from all the action that's happening then there's a giant ass time skip and so it shows her she cut her hair she's fighting with all those random dudes that are in the opening and she's like a badass shooting a bow and arrow what is she fucking Katniss from the Hunger Games <laughs> I don't I don't know but it's just like my she was like my duty is to protect me and the lives of all my friends and I was like when did you get friends <laughs> I was like, when did this happen? Because I don't like those big Sword Art Online time skips that um, seem to permeate through anime sometimes. So I was a little bit confused. I'm hoping there's going to be a flashback, even though I hate flashbacks, but I need a flashback to let me know how she got from running away with this dude to having a harem full of dudes fighting with her. And it is really interesting. Funimation picked this up. And so I'm excited because hopefully they're going to dub it and then I can own it in a beautiful art box. So looking forward to that in 2015. Akatsuki no Yona, still a really great show for the fall season. Highly recommend you watch it. I will see you next week with episode three because I can't keep my hands off of it. Orenchi no Furo Jijo, episode two. There's not a lot to say about this since it was only four minutes an episode, but it takes place entirely in the dude's bathroom. And this week he's complaining about money because it takes too much to heat the bath water. It's still really cute and hysterical. And it's only four minutes. So if you have four minutes to kill, just turn this shit on Crunchyroll. You won't regret it. It's funny. But then again, if you don't like mermen, and if you don't like mermen in some other dude's bathtub, it's probably not for you. I like it, but you know, whatever. Wolf Girl and Black Prince, episode two. Oh, the episode twos, they just keep coming, but this is the last one, I promise. If you want to know more about my Wolf Girl and Black Prince thoughts, please click on this annotation. I will try to get another picture besides that stock one that I found before, and you can watch my full review on it. I don't want to say anything else about it here. I spent way too long rambling on it there in this box, so just click on it. It'll take you there. And finally this week, I watched Sailor Moon Crystal episode 8. This is the Sailor Venus episode. I liked it but I didn't like it. Sailor Venus has this really distracting peach lip gloss on and I'm just like staring at her face like what is wrong with 
what is wrong with you? Like, it just looks funny. So she went and, you know, popped some caps and Zoicide's out of the picture now. Now we're all about Kunzite. I really don't like that Sailor Venus lies to everybody about her being Princess Serenity. And I can't remember if it's because she's actually lying or if she doesn't know that she's not the princess. This is super spoiler territory. I really hope you've watched the original. But we're like almost halfway through it up to the original timeline and we're only on episode 8 here. They're fucking plowing along and next week it's going to be one of my favorite episodes in the original series that they were doing. Which, me who hates flashbacks, is all about flashbacks to the Moon Kingdom. And I'm just kind of like, I wish this, I could have watched it now. <laughs> I really didn't like this episode. I don't, it's just personal preference for me. I did like it though when Sailor Moon at the end, she had all of them together. They went to go save Sailor Venus and she got knocked off a building. Tuxedo Mask saved her. And then she like leans over and plants one on him and she's like, okay, I have to go save the world now and jumps away. And I was like, yes. This is why Sailor Moon is so cool, because like a man can save her, but she does something to completely knock him off his ass in the next second and then tries to save herself and her friends. So I love Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon Crystal, eh, on the fence over, but I mean it only comes out once every two weeks and next week should be a really pretty episode. So I'm looking forward to that. And that is it for this week. If you are playing along with my backlog challenge, I am currently watching 252 anime because I checked one off the list and then I picked up another, but I have completed 40 this year. If I get through 12 more by the end of the year, I'll have pretty much watched an anime a week, which is pretty great for me because I don't even think I watched 30 last year. It's a lot. It takes a lot for me to finish an anime. Either I have to really like it or I really want to take it back or I just, you know, can't stand it anymore so I gotta finish it. So. That's it for this week's Anime Mondays. Tell me what you think of what I have watched down in the comments below. Is anybody else watching Bonjour? <laughs> Which I will still say like that. I wasn't kidding. Because it's still really cute. Yeah, I watched a bunch of girly anime this week. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. That's sometimes how my tastes turn to. If you have a recommendation for me, please leave it down in the comments below. And I will feature it in an upcoming episode of Anime Mondays. So until next week. Love your faces. We're, just, we're gonna plow on through. Plow in. Like the snow, which I hope doesn't come for at least another two months. Please, God. If I even drop one thing, I knock the damn scrolls off the wall, so hooray for me. And I need some buddies to talk about reverse harems with because everybody I know who watches anime is a dude and um, they're straight dudes so I don't really think they like my reverse harems as much as I do. 